Oh, where do I go and start with today? Uh, about three o'clock in the morning, we had a lovely thunderstorm, um, which did wake me up. Uh, I missed the lightning, which I was quite annoyed about because I like watching lightning. Uh, and yeah, I thought the car boot was going to be cancelled. So I ended up leaving. Oh, I don't know, it, uh, this was hours ago. My head is just... Such a hot day, I actually got dehydrated at one stage. So, um, yeah, I was a naughty boy. But the car boot, oh, the car boots, plural. Um, they, they were on. I forgot my bag, which made life harder. Um, it was a really hot day, so I wasn't going to wear my GoPro. And so I was going to try and do a little bit manually holding my phone. But <laughs> I was recording for, for what I thought was about half an hour of me just going round and just holding my phone to my chest. Looked at my phone. And there was nothing recording. So I haven't looked at it yet. So I might have only got like 10 seconds of footage. There may be half an hour. Um, obviously you would have seen it before this if there was. Um, I've not actually plugged it in and, and seen what is on the phone. So... That's going to be a nice surprise. Uh, but, right, what did I get? I went to uh, my preferred summer car boot first, um, simply because it's in a slightly affluent area. Um, so it's one of the areas that I want to get to most out of uh, all the other car boots. Didn't get a great deal. Um, the first thing I bought was Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance on the Xbox. 50p, and it was the only thing I bought for ages. Literally bought nothing else. Um, then, I think the next thing I bought was this Warhammer set. Um, it's near complete. Paid £4. I uh, should get a, quite a decent return on it. Um, I need to go through and, and check the contents. I might well just stick it as an auction on eBay to be honest and just see what happens. I quite like doing that actually. Uh, I was using my big bag. I found that in it. Don't know when I bought it. It could have been yesterday. It could have been last week. It could have been a month ago. So that was in my bag. Bought these as well. Uh, it's the SNES um, Game Boy converter sort of thing. Sort of thing. You guys are going to hammer me for saying that. Uh, that was three pound but also come with this charger which i believe that's one of the old ds chargers so that's always handy to have and um, the guy who had a box of he had a ps1 in it it had two controllers one of which was the inverted analog controllers which you can normally get around 15 quid for he wanted 15 pound for the box but I didn't want another console. I'm really trying to stay clear of consoles at the moment. I've just got too many. Um, and it takes a great deal to sort them out in order to, uh, to, put, to put onto eBay. And there's too many risks as far as people saying it don't work, basically. So I just, yeah, I wanted that controller, but it wouldn't separate it, which was annoying. Uh, what else? And at that car boot, I think, what else did we get, what else did we get? Oh, we got Godzilla. I paid two pound. It is, oh, there was a date on here somewhere. I'm sure it's 1998. It's supposed to make sounds. So I'm gonna have to um, dig out some batteries, but it's got levers and buttons everywhere. So this one does his tail. This one should do his leg. Then we've got his right arm and then his left arm along with his jaw. Two quid for that. I'm I'm really happy. I'm tempted to not sell it because I do quite like it. Oh, there it is. Uh, 1998 Toho Company uh, Toy Biz as well. So two pound well spent for as I'm concerned. Because I've, I've got a, a money bank last year for a fiver, I think. Um, like one of the old old ones as well. 
Then last item, which is potentially the best item, it's a Nookie the Bear. So um, I paid a tenner for him. His, I'm sure his eyes are supposed to move. I've got to find a lever for it. Hang on. But it's, it's, it's back here somewhere. I can't find it. But, right, the reason why I was drawn to this is because my dad knows Roger DeCourcy, um, who is the, the guy who used to operate Nookie the Bear. Um, so I'm hoping that I can uh, get a hold of Roger and get him to sign a box. It did come with a box. The box is salvageable. It's still useful. Um, but that's wicked. I, I'm so happy with that. So... Yeah, now I've just got to pin Roger down. Um, I'm sure he only lives a few miles away. So next time uh, my dad sees him, um, I'm going to get him to, to take Nookie along uh, and hopefully get the box signed. If not, maybe I'll get to go and see Roger myself because I've not seen him in a few years, to be fair. I've met him a few times, um, but I've not seen him for, for quite a while. So Nookie can go back in the box. So yeah, he was a tenner. Um, quite surprised I was looking at it thinking oh should I shouldn't I and then Rob one of the other car boosters was behind me and he's going James get it get it so thanks Rob I owe you one uh, this is why I love this community it's, it's one of the best ones out there as far as I'm concerned then uh, second car boot ran into Dave who sorted me out with Mortal Kombat Deception on the PS2 along with Spider-Man 2 Platinum uh, I may have spilled coffee on this while it was in my bag, so I think I've saved the front cover. However, the, the sides and the backs, I've not looked at them since I took them out to, to wipe them over and let them dry, so fingers crossed they're not too bad. I'm really annoyed at myself for doing that, but I paid £3 for the pair, um, and he had some wicked stuff. I was drawn over because he had a, a Godzilla like hand puppet, and I looked up, I was like, ah, oh, Dave. So, cheers Dave, hi Dave. Then, oh, I've got loads of other bits, what else did we get? A Super Mario uh, question box. It makes a sound. Now this was only two pound. So this is probably going to the giveaway, um, the 1500 subscriber giveaway. 1500, yeah. Um, it might go into the giveaway I haven't quite decided yet because my other half might actually like this she does like her Super Mario stuff so if I can get something geeky shut up if I can get something geeky into the house I think I've, I've got it really so that was £2 if the missus won't let me keep it um, then that will be going into the giveaway, uh, which should have been announced at the 1,500 mark. It should have been. If I haven't done it, then call me up on it, please. Uh, then loads and loads of bits. These were all £1 each. We got Endgame on the PS2, the Toys Room PS2, and another one. Home Run, that style of art looks really familiar and I can't put my finger on it. Uh, battle Construction Vehicles on the PS2, we've got Worms Platinum version, disc only. Uh, Empire of Atlantis, I'm fairly sure I don't have this one. Uh, we've got Cool Shoot, Battle Warlords, Robot Warlords, sorry. Um, I actually have one of these sealed as well, so that's going into the trade fodder. Uh, tie the Tasmanian Tiger, again, quid. Detonator on the PS2, again, quid. Then we've got a load of PS1 bits. Now it's doing a pound each, and I didn't get this to, uh, to this car boot until, God, quarter to nine, which is really, really late. I'm normally at that car boot at half six. But I wanted to do my preferred 
summer car boot first. So this is what he had left basically and ended up paying a pound a piece. So we have ATV races, which I'm pretty sure I don't have. All-Star Tennis. Tomorrow never dies. Knockout Kings 99. Music. ISS Pro 98, which is International Superstar Soccer. NBA Live 2002. FIFA Soccer 96. Well, that is severely beaten. I didn't know it was that bad, but it's a pound for an old game, man. I love it. 97. And F1 Grand Prix. Stopped off at a cherry shop. Hang on. I can't multitask. Stopped off at a charity shop on the way home. Picked up a few more bits at a pound a piece. We got FIFA Football 2005 on the GameCube. Ultimate Spider-Man uh, on the PS2, which has no manual in it. I don't know why it took long to bloody say it when I could just open the bloody thing. And it's all upside down as well. Uh, WrestleMania 18 on World Wrestling Entertainment. Yeah, WrestleMania 18. X8. 18. Definitely. Pound. And Godzilla Save the Earth on the PS2. Again, uh, another pound. So... Fingers crossed, the next video you see from me that has been scheduled in, this one should all look different. Um, I'm going to ramble now. This is all the haul, by the way, so you can, if, if that's what you're interested in, you can bug off now. Basically, we've got a storage unit in the in a nearby town. Um, basically, I want all of my sealed Pokemon stuff to go in there. Uh, as you can see, the top, oh no, you can't see. Top shelf, which had my Street Sharks and Transformers on. Um, that's all going to go. Uh, my monopolies are going to be staying. Um, however, I don't know what I'm going to do about my Marvel Catch Core um, Funko Pops. They might be staying as well. But all of the collectible stuff here, like the, the Jungle Beat pack, the N64 stuff, and all the consoles that I've got, um, they're going to be going to storage. The GameCube games as well, I think they're going to go into storage. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna fill up a lot more room. I wanna have it more of a, as a proper backdrop. Um, so what I might well do is, I think, I think I might be able to, you know, probably gonna have, all the GameCube games are gonna go in there as well uh, because it's just gonna be easier. Um, so in the stores, I'm gonna have all my PS2, Xbox, and game, basically all the larger cartridge stuff and all the the old cardboard stuff as well, um, simply because although this place is secure, the other place is really bloody secure. No one's ever going to break into that. Um, so I'm going to have all my PS1 games. Um, I'm going to have to bring a couple of shelves over. Uh, probably move this one that you can just about see here. I'm going to move that up, um, which should take some more Funko Pops, um, and basically have all my PS1s here then what I might well do is get um, a PVC background, which I can put in front of the PS1 games um, and then have my Iron Man and things like that out. I don't know. I'm not quite decided yet. I, I need to start getting things out and getting things moved around before I decide exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, but as far as hauls go, um, I'm actually quite happy with, with how today went. Um, it could have gone a lot worse. Could have done a hell of a lot better. Um, I think, in hindsight, I probably should have switched the car boots round. Um, but you, you can't win them all. So I'm going to have my cup of tea, which is no doubt cold because I've been chatting for about 14 minutes. No, it's still hot, it's still good. Um, but that is it from me. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Adios. Hi Cadden by the way, I forgot to say hi. The sun's in my face. How long has it been doing that for? Oh.